This is a video tutorial designed to help Construct Connect customers set up their Mothernode account so they can receive their daily Construct Connect projects in their Mothernode CRM account and add the selected projects that they want to include in their leads and opportunities very easily. So first of all, just to be clear, you must have a Construct Connect Insight account and then there's multiple ways in which we can uh, import that data. So let's take a look. The first thing I want to do is I want to go to my administration module, then I want to go to my API connections. And then I'm going to click on the Construct Connect tab. And I want to talk about what you see on screen here. There are two methods in which we can automatically bring information into the program. And then there's a manual method for importing if you choose. We'll take a look at all three. First of all, if you have an Insight account that uses, that has access to uh, the Insight API for CRMs, then basically you can use these credentials. You'll have to contact your Construct Connect rep to make sure that you have that feature, the Construct Connect API. And if you're using that, then they can provide you with the server FTP information plus your credentials. You'll put that in here. And what that means is that on a daily basis, you will automatically have new projects appearing within your Construct Connect tab within your leads and opportunities. We'll be going there in just a moment. So that is the most complete and comprehensive way to get as much information as you possibly can from the project if you're using that method. It's the recommended method. However, there are other options. If you do not have the API as part of your Construct Connect subscription, then you can also use the mail cap feature which is available. Now I want to be clear about this. As with all of our mail cap security settings, the person is going to be emailing the Construct Connect data to their Mothernode account, that their email address has to match their user login email address. The syntax has to be the same. Otherwise, Mothernode by security uh, settings will not allow that information to come through. It's verifying based on your email address in this case, okay? So what I wanna do first of all is I wanna save this. I wanna enable the Construct Connect tab and I wanna save this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click this little copy button here and it's going to copy this email address which is unique to your account okay now first of all I want to go back over here to the leads and opportunities and I just want to share with you now there's that we've activated this there's a brand new construct connect button up here when I click on this it's going to show me the listing screen for all of my projects which of course I don't have any yet one of the other ways that you can bring that information in is that if, if from time to time you want to import information for uh, from your Construct Connect Insight product, if you've developed a list of projects and you have a, and you have a criteria that you want to import, you can just go ahead and import. When you get that file, drag and drop it here, and it will bring that information in. Okay, so you have access to that. I'm going to go back over here, just to my leads and opportunities, as if I would start my day this way, and then I'm going to go to my email. And one of the things I'm going to pull up here is that I have a file that is routine that you would be receiving daily from Construct Connect if you are using that feature. So again, if, you have, if you're not receiving a daily file, uh, talk to your Construct Connect uh, representative and they'll help you set one up. So this one has a listing of projects that have come through for this specific date. And now what I wanna do is I wanna forward that email and I wanna forward it to the email that I copied from my account. Now I recommend in this case, if this is a, something that you're doing routinely, obviously, I would make a, a contact for this email address and I would call it, you know, Mother Node Construct Connect and give it this email address so in the future you can just forward and just type in the name of the recipient and then now this is going to be sent over to my Construct Connect account. Let's take a look. Sent. And there they are they've all come through okay so we can see what that looks like there's no revisions here these haven't been put in to begin with so let's take a look we've got the project ID we've got the project name we've got the report uh, date this hasn't been requested by this would actually be used if it was pulling in the information automatically via the API and then we can see that these are all first time so there's no revisions that have been added etc so if I want to look at one of these in more detail I can click on this open it up and then I have the information here, okay? So you have this information that's come through. 
And then one of the things that you can do is, is that if you want to get more information like the records, because no matter what method you use, the documents do not come through. So if you need to get into your Construct Connect account, just click on the project ID. It'll take you right there to the full information of the project if you want to explore this further. Now, one of the things I also want to call out is that um, obviously, based on what you do in the construction business and you do with these particular projects, the total value of this is going to be $1 million, but we know that we're not going to be getting a million dollars worth of this. So what you can do is, is that if you want to come up with your own formula, of, let's just say 0.05%, then basically this will add the opportunity value within Mother Node to be $500 in this case, okay? So if you want to have a standard that you're working with, this will replicate throughout all the rest of the ones that you want to add. And you can go ahead and just automatically have the opportunity value put in there. And of course, once you get to the quoting stage or the more more of the discovery along the way, you can change that by default. This can put that in there automatically for you. So all you have to do is just click import. And let's do that. All right, we successfully imported. We can actually go to the record, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm going to go back to the list. So here, when we look at the list, anything that now is green has been imported into the program. And we can see now that this has been imported over here as well. OK, so once I get a revision as well, these will come up and I'll be able to update these automatically. They, the revisions will update for you. So if I want to grab another one, I can just open up this here. Again, we see that the 5% is retained and I can go ahead and import on this and then go back and then I'm, I'm good to go. Now, what does that look like when I go to my leads and opportunities? When I go to my leads and opportunities, I click on this. And then you can see the two of them that I imported are right over here. OK, and when I click on this, you can see that I have the Construct Connect information available to me right here. It's populated the related fields that are in here. OK, I haven't put any contacts or anything like that here from the Construct Connect file. But over here, what I have is I can click on Construct Connect and it takes me to the additional information. If I had any contacts that were here, I actually could have added them within in, into my mother note account automatically, but this one didn't have any contacts, okay? So that's how simple it is. You can start to receive these on a daily basis in the show all. You'll find all of your new Construct Connect files that will be uh, included in this. So anything you email over or anything that you're getting directly from the API will populate in here automatically. And then you can choose which ones it is that you want to uh, have come through. When you do this, again, you can just click import. And then what you can do is uh, you can go back into your leads and opportunities. And then you can take these kind of things and go ahead and dispatch them to the appropriate rep as well. So you have all your usual mother node functionality, but now each one of these that came from Construct Connect will include this for your convenience. If you have any questions about Construct Connect, you can reach them at constructconnect.com. And if you are an existing Construct Connect user, you want to contact your sales rep or your account rep just to find out the features that you have available to you and uh, which ones you can be using with your mother note account. And if you have any questions about this particular service and how we can help uh, get you set up or point you in the right direction, you can reach us at customer.support at mothernode.com.